Greetings from beautiful Austin, Texas. This is your friend Art. I am actually in my apartment at the moment. And uh, yesterday was Friday the 13th. And since I've gotten tattoos, I've noticed that Friday the 13th is also some type of a tattoo holiday. A lot of shops do uh, Friday the 13th specials. And they'll do like, they'll have like a flash sheet with uh, Friday the 13th themed um, tattoos, not necessarily themed from the movie Friday the 13th, although you may see a, like a hockey mask type uh, flash tattoo at uh, some shops, but um, usually it'll have some random image or design and it'll have a 13, a number 13 incorporated well, within the tattoo design and uh, some may not have a number 13 but they'll have some type of like maybe I don't know some horror or evil or sinister type of uh, or gothic type of a uh, theme and um, and they'll, they'll do it for like $13 plus $7 tips so it'll come out to like an even like $20 uh, some places do like uh, I've seen like th they'll do like $31 and then if you tip nine and it makes like an even 40 and uh and in some places they'll do like they'll do special but they'll probably do like you know maybe they'll take a hundred dollars off or something or they'll 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 start they'll price it at 60 or 80 and go up to like 100 200 dollars uh i saw one special uh this this uh this girl uh erica uh who uh who did a few of my tattoos she did like a like one like 113 dollar 113 dollars she would do that for like a special so um you know but but a lot you know some some artists so they'll 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 price they'll you know they'll come up with an individual rate or they'll go by the 13 plus 7 or the 31 plus 9 type deal and stuff and uh it's a lot of fun you know i mean it, 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 it i'm sure it's in other cities too but especially in austin austin's like such a tattoo you know, a uh, happy place. There's so many cool shops and everyone down here has, not everybody, but a lot of people have tattoos. And, um, excuse me, they, um, you know, they'll, they'll, these shops will have long lines. Uh, the longest line is, uh, I went to, a, I've been to this shop before and I went to the to their uh, Friday 13th um, tattoo uh, event uh, last year. It's a place called Austin Tattoo Company. And uh, they, they do it from like, they'll start at like midnight, Friday the 13th, and then go all the way to, to you know, to midnight the next day. And uh, and they get like long ass lines. Like I got there early and I still had to like wait maybe an hour. Some people will show up at like, fuck, they'll show up at like 9.30 and stuff. It, it'll It's like waiting for, you know, like concert tickets almost like back in the day. And like now, especially that, this event has gotten bigger, you know, people show up sooner and the lines get longer and there are times where they, where they, they don't get, they still don't get to everybody and, and other places have followed suit. Um, so man, these, these cats are like, trying to drink my ice water. Um, so they're like the biggest event and then, uh, other places do it. They'll do it like from 12 PM to 12 midnight and, uh, they'll also have lines, um, the last year when I went, I went to Austin Tattoo Company. I went there like a little before midnight, maybe like 11, 11.30. And then the next morning I went to a place downtown called uh, All Saints Tattoo on 6th Street. Um, and uh, they, they they did it like in the morning, I think. They started early, like maybe 10 or something, I guess. I waited in that line too, but I didn't have to wait too long because I got there kind of early. But, uh, but yeah, it, it's gotten, since I've moved here, almost three years ago um, a lot of shops are doing it now it's become very trendy and I mean they they you know they make a lot of money that day there's people that like don't maybe don't come out and get regular tattoos you know they'll just get this and they'll be like okay that's mine I'm good for with tattoos I'll just like little tattoo or whatever this the sizes vary you know like the $13 ones I'll be really small and then the $31 ones I've seen I get a little you know, larger and stuff, and then you know, of course, the more the the, the higher the price, the larger, you know, the, the piece. But uh, they they only, they only do arms and legs because it's it's you know it's quick to do it on those spots and stuff. And uh, 
and uh, and that way it's more straightforward instead of saying, well, I think I want it on my head or my neck or whatever, you know, the, the, it's like a strictly arms and legs placement. And um, so last year I got three. I got two from Austin Tattoo. No, I got one from Austin Tattoo Company, which is, uh, let's see if I could, it's this one. It's this uh, Jewish numeral 13. And then uh, at, at um, at All Saints, I got this one, which is like a one and a three, and then I got one here, which is like also supposed to be sort of a, you know, kind of a 13 type, like, you know, they made their own, they make up their own little symbols and such, and, um, and they, it was a fun experience, you know, you're in line, you're talking to other people and stuff, it, it's also like a controversial thing, I know a lot of, there's, there are shops and artists that don't like that special, and, you know, they, 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 they'll, they'll, they'll be against it or they'll say, Hey, we have specials too. come down and get any of our regular tattoos for regular price. You know, they'll, you know, they'll, 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 they'll rag on that. And, and, and I guess I can kind of see that, you know, like maybe, you know, the, and you know, they might think like, you know, these people who get the $13 one or the Friday 13th tattoos are like posers or cheapskates, whatever kind of thing. And, uh, one thing I'll say is, and I was talking to people about, this is, um, I don't like to get the tattoos that will have like the number 13 in it, you know, like, like it's really obvious and stuff. And, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, and some of them like looks like, I mean, they're cute, but they can look like super cheap and stuff. But, um, I, this year I went to blindside tattoos. They have three, they have three locations and I've been to two of them. They, they've been they're They're on South first. A street which uh, which is like on their way which is on the way to uh, downtown and there's one on South Lamar which is going a little, a little further south of uh, downtown and then they have that those that the one on South Lamar is like the newest shop they have and then they have one on 36 um, right there like right in the thick of things like I forget the cross street it might be San Jacinto I forget but it's down there as well and um, I went to the South First location. I've been there before. I've got I've gotten the tattoo from there before. And uh, when I was looking at their their flash sheets, I uh, was I was almost going to get something off the thirty one dollar uh, sheet. And then I looked at the third. They have like three ones that were thirteen plus seven, and the two two of them looked like you know like little doodly kind of thirteen, you know number thirteen uh, designed ones and stuff. And then they had they had an, they had another flash sheet that had like just regular like kind of like sinister looking like abstract um, flash pieces that that didn't have thirteen on it and everything and uh, so I saw this one it's uh and I ended up getting it it's uh this let's see if I can show you here it's this one it's this uh get out of the glare a bit get a little bit of a idea but that's uh that's the one i got you say that was all flash sheet this guy ian reyes did it and uh it's uh it's the plague doctor and uh the the, the doctors back in i guess like the 19th century they would wear that hat and that mask so they wouldn't get sick from the from the diseased air you know like the, they were treating like bubonic plague and all this kind of shit and you know the they were it was it was the that mask was to protect them from airborne diseases, and I always thought that was like a cool design. And uh, when I saw it on this flash, I thought, yeah, of all the ones, of all the ones they had on there, I was like, I want to get that one because it, it's different. It's not, you know, something that looks like a Friday the Thirteenth, you know, tattoo. But at work earlier tonight, like, I, because it says, because it's a fresh new piece and it's and uh, it's a freshly shaved area still, and and it's like, and you can see how new it is. It's like the brightest tattoo on my arm and stuff compared to the other ones and uh a lot of people were like oh did you just get that and i said yeah i got it yesterday and they'd be like oh for friday the 13th and people were like i wanted to get one yesterday and you know because the because the the last uh the last friday the 13th was uh was last uh i think it was like last july i think i think it was july because i remember thinking, well, I better go now because I don't want to, you know, wait till next, uh, September, you know, you'd be like, 
you know, like it's gone and you're like, oh shit, I should have went and I got to wait till next year and, you know, I'll forget about it, whatever. But usually you don't forget about it because if you're on social media and you follow a lot of the t tattoo shops, they'll let you know when, you know, hey, it's Friday the 13th coming up, you know. So the next one I think is in December, I think. I have to look again, but I, I don't know if I'm going to get <laughs> any more. It's, it's, unless I see something really cool, but I, you know, I, I want to like save up and, you know, get bigger pieces. I mean, like I said, this, this was $20 and it was done. It was a really, really nice job. I think I, I like the design and, you know, these guys, regardless of, uh, regardless of the P of the, of it being a, a Friday the 13th piece or, or a cheaper piece, it's, 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 um, it's gonna, you know, they're still gonna do a nice job in it. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it, and I don't know <laughs> what my next tattoo is gonna be, when I'm gonna get it, if I'm gonna get another one. But for now, that's the latest one, and I'm happy with it. And everyone who's seen it, you know, thinks it's cool and stuff. And uh, you know, I said Friday the Thirteenth tattoos are fun. You know they're 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 cool to get, but if you if that's all you get on your body, you're gonna look like a walking flash sheet. It's nice to have variety. I don't have huge pieces. You know I have I have a few huge pieces, but I have like more like a collection of pieces that on my body. I don't have necessarily like a sleeve that connects. You know, but the way they're arranged on my body and the pieces I picked, it's it's like it's more like. A, like I'm a, like a, I'm a walking museum, so I, and uh, some some people have asked me how many tattoos do I have? How many tattoos do you have? Do you know? And I would say I lost count. Last time I really counted, I probably counted like 45. I know it's like over 40. It's definitely over 30. So, but you know, I'm happy with them, and 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 and, and I, if nobody ever really comments on them except maybe compliments a piece or whatever if I show something, but uh. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've been able to get a job and stuff. So, you know, I, I don't think that, I don't think that would be an issue if I were to get any other kind of job here in Austin or anywhere else, but especially in Austin, I don't think I would be able to, uh, have, have an issue with that. And if I did, then it's pro it's a company and, and a person whom I don't want to work for, you know, or whatever, if they're going to, if that's going to be their hang up, you know, so, but just thought I'd show you my newest tattoo a friday the 13th tattoo and kind of talk about the the whole deal about how how it is and uh you know for some for for some people it's a celebration of the movies and for people like me it's a celebration of getting a new tattoo and such so um yeah that's about it but uh hope you enjoyed this video uh please like this video comment on it uh follow subscribe to my page i'm gonna do a i'm doing a revamp Right now, it's just Arthur Shimko's channel, but I'm probably going to call it, like, the Life of Art channel and do more vlogs or whatever about uh, living in Austin and adventures elsewhere and such. And uh, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice night.